Welcome to the channel rather dubiously called Rufio. I'm the best Yugi tuber in my street, a very average player who uses this platform to trick you into thinking I'm good at and capable of playing Yu-Gi-Oh on any kind of level at all. Before we get started, why don't you hit subscribe for me, even if it's not because you secretly enjoy bad content, but because you pity me. I need every bit of help I can get. Hi guys, Joe here from Rufio, finally bringing in this man. How long have you dodged the profiles for? It's been about a year. It's been a while. It's good. And finally he's agreed because he's finally topped something. How did you finish? Where did you go? So what did I you play? Uh, second in Swiss. Played 6-1, I was 6 I got lost to Simon here. Uh, playing a very skill intensive there. <laughs> Head but is fine. Let's just get stuck in. So, first of all, a three limit just speaks for itself. Um, I was playing uh, Luster and Ariadne um, to search counter traps, but this just searches down its so it's much better. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Uh, three extravagance, three duality, three wind condition, three search wind condition, three definitely wind condition. I had two on the board against the Snow Striker player, I just couldn't do anything. Uh, so, they know us. And then, four draw spells. Uh, two demise because it flicks too much in the uh, extravagance, so I just play two. Uh, two prohibition because calling to a twister is really good and <laughs> But we didn't see this in the final. Sorry, against me. Yeah, but we didn't see it against Simon. So. Uh, two field barrier to protect the wind condition. Let your opponent activate them anyway. And roller for wind condition because it's only at one. And traps of a triple judgment. Triple bribe, triple dark sacrifice because we really want to look after the weak condition. Uh, three agile trios because I want more cards to search off of Lilith, and it's good to get a striker, which is obviously the worst matchup apart from the Draco. And then I play one of this, uh, two is too many. I probably could take one of these out, but it's fine at one. Uh, search the weak condition, and then this 39 cards. I should play 40, but I didn't know what to put in the last minute, and there was two cards I wanted to play, so I played uh, Jar of Avarice, because <laughs> six win conditions is better than three, and Mac of course Rust, because I don't want to play against Stu Draco, and it's the only card that beats Stu Draco. We saw this turn one against Striker, like a good job. And we saw <laughs> Macro turn one against Striker, which won me the game, which is all good. Uh, token. The bread and butter of the deck uh, is all these extravagance targets <laughs> that we did not make. The only card that we actually can make is if we play against dinosaurs, and that's why there's two of this, because we want to get rid of that token. <laughs> Don't lose the dinos. And Eggy will make this if we're playing against Brandon. Yeah. Because no one will believe that I'm playing it. But they're all irrelevant cards. So, extravagance targets. Uh, Two Gamma Seal, one Doggeran, and one Sticky String. Uh, I just needed something against Pendulum. Didn't want to play Dark Ruler, so I decided to play Kaiju's. Uh, it worked, and also Pot Desires, banishing three Master Indian. Uh, shout out Alex Moffat. <laughs> uh, because I played two Gamma Seals and messed everything up, uh, I'm hitting one Pank uh, But if I would change anything, I would take one of these out and put this in. Uh, this was really insane when I drew it against. Oh, Moffat, so that's fine. Uh, three Cosmic Cyclone, because Banishing Macro is good. Uh, two uh, Unending Nightmare, because we don't want to lose the mirror. Uh, and we don't want to lose against Striker, which we did, but it's fine. It just basically says pay a thousand for a multi roll. Yeah. Uh, two Harry Stormbuster, uh, I would probably play a third, but I'm not even sure what I would drop. I might even main one uh, over one of the Dark Sacrifices, because game one against Acrodex is such a pain. Two reboots and one wiretap. Uh, I was playing three wiretaps, and then I realised that people were hitting me in the end phase uh, with Busters, so, and they were playing evenly, so if I kept this in hand, they never expected it, and then I would just uh, reboot them, and then and dust or away the two traps that were set, so I got rid of two for one. Uh, I was 6 0, I lost just as I'm here. Uh, got this nice map, box, which I'm going to call Prismatic Off in a minute. Uh, finally topped the regional after about 10 million years of playing the game. But uh, 
Yeah. Uh, finally, you managed to meet me on the profile. Yeah. About time. Hopefully, we get some more. Uh, shout out to Manuscrew Locals, Mark, always selling us great products all the time. Uh, when they're always in our contacts. Uh, Rufio, shout out to the squad, everyone for coming down. Well, Basically, just uh, keep me company whilst I switch to everyone. <laughs> Apart from Corey, because he talked to us. And uh, yeah, check out eBay, Jam Jam Cards UK for all your. Oh, TCG. That's it. So the links will be in the description for all of those mentioned. Uh, if you haven't already, please hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, you've enjoyed the garbage content I put together for you. Enough to hit subscribe and maybe even drop a thumbs up and a comment. Before you go, be sure to check out the links in the description to help support the people who are making this channel a possibility. Thanks again for checking in, and I'll see you in the next one.